The coaches challenge. You see Dana and a ring girl and Bruce Buffer. I'm like, okay, what, what are we doing here? And then you see two two things sitting up there, and immediately I could tell because I could see the little unit next to it. I'm like, that's that's a cold plunge, you know. Welcome to my favorite part of the season, the coaches challenge. Zero pressure on the fighters. All the pressure is on your coaches. Today is going to be cold plunge trivia. Bruce Buffer will host the competition, and the winning coach gets $10,000. The winning team gets $1,500 each. All right, boys. Let's go. All right, all right. I thought it would be fun this season to put Connor and Michael to the test with a trivia game, but I didn't want to just test them mentally. I wanted to test them physically, too. We decided to bring in a couple of cold plunges to up the ante. So they're gonna have to sit in a tub of 39 degree water while they answer a series of questions. And these guys are used to taking ice baths after training, but this is this is a whole different ball game. And now it's the time. Trivia is, I could not think of a worse coach's challenge for me. I like the sport, I like to watch the sport, I like to watch individual performances, but I don't ret retain that kind of information. Here's how the rules are gonna work. Three to four minute rounds. Round one and two are worth one point. Round three is worth two points. And if you tie, we're gonna have a fourth round. Q&A about UFC, the UFC history. I am the UFC history. I was confident I was going to get that one. So now, get ready, contestants, to get it on. Let's go! Let's go. Good luck, coaches. The first round of questions are going to be about general UFC history. The second round is going to be about the ultimate fighter. And then the third round, Bruce is going to ask Connor and Michael questions about each other. That's why those are worth double. We'll see how well these two really know one another, and whoever has the most points at the end wins. And of course, if anyone quits because of the cold, they lose. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Let the games begin. Uh, Ooh, let's go. Give me this party, baby. Uh, Money time, baby. Let's go. I actually do ice baths often. It was. Literally, my biggest fear, cold water was my biggest fear up until about six months ago. Yeah. I shake like a mofo, dude. <laughs> huh? I shake like a mofo. You're shaking right shake. now. No, you I gotta do, shake I do. it over here. I do, I do about minute three. <laughs> <laughs> we got into the ice bath and his jaw was going, it was rattling. He was absolutely shaking in the thing. I thought we were gonna have to call an ambulance or something like that. Now it was cold in fairness. Well, it was all right, but I was a bit sore and banged up from the training, so it actually helped me. You know, when I got in, I was like, it wasn't like, <gasps> at the start, it was actually like, ah, oh, this is nice. Michael, Connor, your first question. Who did Mark Homan defeat at the end of UFC 10? The tournament, was it A, Tank Abbott, B, Josh Barnett, or C, Don Fry? Tank Abbott. A for Tank Abbott. Connor? Yeah, I'd say Tank Abbott as well, yeah? All right, we've got A's from both. <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen. Don enough. Fry is the answer. On to the next question. Don Fry. And who did John Jones beat in his UFC debut? Was it A, Daniel Cormier? Was it B, Matt Hamill? Or was it C, Andre Guzman? C. C. And the answer is? Oh, yeah. Both won. Here we go. Tie ball game. Going into question number three. Against whom did Brock Lesnar get his first UFC win? C. A. It is C. <laughs> UFC since he's in nappies. MMA <laughs> trivia ain't my thing. Edging forward, who did Tito Ortiz beat at UFC 25? B. Chug. And the winner is A. Oh, Guadalupe Silva. Doing that. Next question. To whom was George St. Pierre's first pro loss? C. C. You're right, boys. Matt Hughes. Next question. To whom did Chuck Liddell lose his final UFC career fight to? B. A. The answer is Rich Franklin. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. 
Conor McGregor out in front. Traditionally, you know, when I started doing cold therapy, I, I am a big time shaker. I was definitely a little bit visibly cold here and there, but then the questions. Goodness gracious, the questions, I'm just like, I don't know. I might have watched them fight, but not just, you know, filed it way back in the basement of my mind, never to return again, right? Next question, this is the last question for the first round. Ronda Rousey was undefeated in her MMA career what until which UFC MSG fighter brought her reign to an end? C. C. We got C, Holly Holm, you both are correct. There we go, that's the end of round number one. At the end of round one, UFC trivia, Connor was up five to three. The coaches seem to be handling the cold pretty well. It's like the jacuzzi on the yacht. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see how they do in round two. Round two is tough trivia. All right, next round, first question. In which year or event was the iconic Forrest Griffin versus Stefan Bonner fight? Ah. C. C. C's correct, 2005. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know how those guys stayed in that, that tub for that long. Um, I don't think I could have done it myself. B. Connor? B. Connor didn't show any sign of weakness, which shows a lot of mental fortitude. I really like that we put them in a position that they had to really show everybody what they're made of. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Last question of the second round, gentlemen. Who was the first female tough champion? <laughs> you ready? Three, two, one, go. Ah, <laughs> come on! The answer was C, Juliana Pen. Really? Yep. That's the end of round two. Now we go into round number three. So after two rounds in, it's Connor 10 and Michael 8. In the final round, they get asked questions about each other. A correct answer is worth two points now, and it's coming down to the wire. You can see these guys are struggling. These guys have been in there now. It's got to be like 18, 20 minutes, which is absolutely gangster. So another three questions. The winner gets two points, so Michael could tie. OK, go. Michael, Proper 12 launched in 2018. What is it named after? Connor's lucky number, his childhood neighborhood, or the age of his eldest child? B. B's correct. There we go. First question is for Conor McGregor. What is Chandler's nickname? A, Iron, B, the Terror, C, Skippy. Skippy! Skippy, <laughs> shortly Skippy. A, Iron. A, Iron's correct. Oh. Michael, next question. In which round did Conor McGregor submit to Habib at USC oh, 229? A, round four, <laughs> B, round one, C, round five. A round four. Oh, what was the story there? That is correct. That is correct. Next question. What is Chandler's record? A, 11 and four. B, two and 20. C, 23 and eight. C. C. The answer is correct. 23 and eight. Next question, Michael. In which year was Connor named the best UFC newcomer? A, 2000. B, 2013. C, 2023. 2000, right? You're like 48. <laughs> 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 the answer is B. Correct. 2013. All right, that's three answers correct for Michael Chandler. Chandler has managed to tie this thing up at 14 all, and it's come down to Connor's final question. If he gets this right, he wins. Last one, Connor. How many of Chandler's wins come by way of TKO? A, none. B, 11. C, 13. Ah, <laughs> uh, this could be it. This is it. You don't get this right, it's a tie ball game. Boys. Yeah, I'll, I'll say B, I'll say B. Okay, it says B. I'm, I'm coming. He's B is correct. Coming. And the winner is Conor yeah. McGregor. 20 to 18. Team McGregor ended up winning by two, and we got a little extra paper. So I'm very, very happy about that. So thank you, Coach. I appreciate it. <laughs> and the rich get richer. <laughs> it's tough. Obviously, I, I don't. I didn't want to lose to Connor at anything in, in any one of these challenges or fights or, or anything. So losing the coach's challenge was tough, and I really felt like I let my team down. I